Many believers, when they face challenges and troubles, you hear them encouraging one another, just pray, just pray. Everyone understands that prayer is a weapon. But that weapon will not work in that way when we say just pray. If just praying can produce results, then by today, all of us would be having results. Turn to your neighbor and say, just praying cannot produce results. Praise the Lord. We need to know how to pray. We need to understand how we ought to pray. And tonight, I believe by the end of this service, as you're going to pray, you're going to produce results. Amen. Hallelujah. When the disciples asked Jesus to, talk, to teach them to pray, he never said it's not necessary. He never said, come on, you, you, you have been praying, continue praying. He said, when you pray, you must say. Meaning what he was telling them, they were not doing it before. But yet they thought they were praying. Like many of us here, we are praying, even when we pray amiss. Many people cannot realize it. But in the Bible, you can find what say praying amiss. Or missing the target. Or not in the right way. Or with wrong motives. Praise the Lord. So Jesus said to his disciples, when you pray, you must say, Our Father in heaven, they are being taught how to pray now. Praise the Lord. Our Father in heaven, that's the starting point when you pray. When Jesus is saying our Father, he is addressing a group of people, but when it comes to an individual, it's like my Father in heaven. Praise the Lord. So when you start to understand what the Lord was talking about, then your prayer is going to have some depth. My Father in heaven. There are two things that you want to look at now. The first thing, when you say my Father, it's about a relationship. In heaven, it's not like someone who's far away, but position. I guess someone's speaking this. <laughs> my Father is a relationship. In heaven is a position. Praise the Lord. I will explain it and you understand it. So when you say my father, it means before you ask of anything, before you even attempt to pray to him, you must have a relationship with him. God is not like your ATM machine. Whereby you can only think of it when you need money. To get things from the Lord. Before you start to get things from the Lord, there ought to be a relationship. Father-son relationship. So when Jesus came into this world, whatever he was doing, he was doing it for us. And he was expecting us to learn how do we live like sons of God or children of God? Praise the Lord. So every action, the way he was walking, he was doing it for us. And you realize his strength in prayer had something to do with his relationship with the Father. Spirit. 